This is one of the neighborhoods here in Boynton Beach, and you can see behind me the maze of wires. It's bundled here toward the bottom and at the ground, but it goes all the way up to the top with lots of wires moving and intersplicing there. And while the utilities say this is all safe, neighbors have some concerns. Splintered poles and low-hanging wires concern John Lennon and his neighbors in the Sun Valley neighborhood of Boynton Beach. How does it look to you? Terrible. Terrible. The tangled web of wires belong to three utilities, FPL, Comcast, and AT&T, creating a chain reaction of problems when there's an issue like a recent auto accident. The pole was hit down here, but it snapped up there because of the way too much weight in the higher areas. What is your biggest concern? With this, hurricanes. Hurricanes. With one automobile taking out the pole, we literally were out for eight hours on all media and we were out of power for about two hours. Service was restored, but bundled and frayed wires remain. It looks aesthetically terrible. And for our community, it is a very big eyesore. Truck drove through, snagged this line. In Delray Beach, low hanging wires are causing problems for delivery trucks. But every now and then, one blows through that doesn't realize that the line's hanging too low and just snags it. Disconnecting the phone lines. <laughs> Delray Beach Flores, good afternoon. For businesses in the strip mall. Without a phone line, we have no access to our internet website, we can't receive orders, and we can't process any credit cards either. Service is back on, but the pole that snapped and cracked is still leaning. Why did you call the consumer watchdog? Because I've been getting the run around. After our calls, AT&T and FPL came out to look at the problem, and the broken pole was removed. We're making improvements to the system every day. In Boynton Beach, there's progress, too. And we know that customers are concerned about the situations, and, um, and so are we. One utility pole was removed, and there are plans to move the second pole soon. We're trying to expedite with our partner utilities um, to make this go a little bit more smoother uh, than it has in the past. This area where I'm standing here in Boynton Beach used to be filled with poles. There were three here. Now we are down to just one, so we're making some progress. And FPL says it's working to make the transition of wires to new poles much smoother and quicker because they're in the middle of a big project. They're actually adding 3,000 new poles that are stronger, more hurricane resistant throughout Palm Beach County. So they need this process to go smoother, and they're making steps, taking steps to make that happen. Live in Boynton Beach, I'm Consumer Watchdog Jen Strathman fighting for you.